Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Open Green Energy. In this video, I will show you how I have made a colorful LED signboard for my studio. You can control the signboard from the smartphone and PC. You can also control the signboard from Alexa or Google Home Assistant. So without any further delay, let's move to make the project. Guys, if you are following my channel, then you must be aware of I am a big fan of DIY and I always prefer DIY rather than buy. So finally, I have decided to make the LED sign I love DIY. First, you have to download the STL files from the link given in the video description. Here, I want to give full credit to the original designer of this awesome 3D printable alphabet. You can check out his page for more awesome 3D printable designs. I have printed a heart shape instead of printing four different letters of love. Similarly, I have printed all the other alphabets of the I love DIY. After 3D printing, you have to remove the excess support materials. Here I have used a screwdriver to remove the excess materials. To make my LED sign more attractive and colorful, here I have used WS2812B RGB addressable LEDs. I have purchased 3 modules of such LEDs. Each module contains 10 LEDs. First, you have to separate them from each other. Just apply little force at the joints and it will easily break. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. You can order high quality PCB prototype for your projects from PCBWay. You will get 10 PCBs at only $5. Now we have to install the LEDs into the slots in the 3D printed parts. Align the LED into the square shape slot and press it with your finger. Now we have to connect the LEDs in each alphabets. Each LED have three different pins, 5 volt, ground and the middle one is data pin. The arrow direction indicates the current flow. Here I have used 24 AWG wires to connect the LEDs, but I will highly recommend to use 30 AWG wires. I have used three different colors of wire for connecting the LEDs. The red color indicates 5 volt, black one is for ground and blue one is for data connection. Before soldering, tin the terminal wires and soldering pads of the LEDs.
Now the wiring part of each alphabet is ready. We have to connect them physically. To connect the alphabet physically, we need connector. In my LED sign, there are five parts. So there are four joints and we need four connectors. I have printed some extra connectors for keeping it as a spare. Connecting the two alphabets is super easy. Just align them together and press the connector into the slot and you are done. After connecting the alphabet physically, we have to connect them electrically. During the connection, you have to follow one thumb rule. Output terminal should be connected to the input terminal of the next alphabet and you have to follow a sequence. You may follow the arrow mark on the LED. Either you can connect the wire from left to right or right to left. Sometimes there is tendency to comes out of LED from the slot. So I have applied hot glue on the back side of the LED to secure it firmly. Connect a 3 terminal RGB connector to the last or first alphabet. You have to connect it to the in terminal of the alphabet. After connecting the alphabets electrically, we have to cover up the messy wires on the back side. Align the wire into the slots in the back cover and secure it by using glue. Here I have used gel super glue. Now we have covered off all the messy wires on the back side of the alphabet. The next step is to diffuse the LED light from the alphabet. I have printed the diffuser by using white PLA. Now we have to install the diffusers into the alphabet. The installation process is super easy. Just align the diffuser and press it into the slots. If you want to secure it firmly, then you may apply small amount of glue. Now our LED signboard is ready. We need a power supply to power it and a controller to control the addressable RGB LEDs. Here I have used a 5 volt 2 ampere DC adapter for power supply and ESP32 module for controlling the RGB LEDs. You may also use ESP8266 instead of ESP32. I have used a female DC jack to provide the power supply to the LED and ESP32. The next step is to install the firmware into the ESP32 board. To upload the firmware into the ESP32 board, here we will use ESP Home Flusher. It is super easy. Just follow the instruction shown in the video and I am sure you will definitely do it easily. The links to download the ESP Home Flusher and firmware are given in the video description.
After successful upload of the firmware, you will get the message done flashing is complete. Now we will connect the ESP32 board with the LED sign board as per the wiring diagram. After connecting the ESP32 with the LED signboard, I have placed the ESP32 inside a 3D printed enclosure. The link to download this enclosure file is given in the video description. Plug in the power supply to the AC outlet and search for the WLED Wi-Fi network. After getting the WLED network, connect it. You will redirect to the WLED homepage. Click on Wi-Fi settings, then enter the SSID and password of your router. And finally save it. Install the WLED app on your smartphone, then add the new device. After some time, you will get the new device name as WLED. Now you can fully control the LED signboard either from the smartphone or from PC. Now you can test the LED signboard by pressing the power button from the WLED app. You can also change the color and effect from the smartphone. So now let's play with different color and effects from the WLED app. For pairing the LED signboard with the Alexa device, you may follow my instructable. The link is given in the video description. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then press the like button. Please subscribe my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you. Have a nice day.